Hi, in this video, we're going to explore three kinds of operators and how to apply them in our programs. Let's go. You are probably pretty familiar with most of the arithmetic operators we're going to be using to manipulate values in our programs. The one that might be newer for you is modulus. This operator divides two numbers and gives the remainder of the division. So in this case, three goes into 10 three times with one left over. So the outcome of 10 modulus three is one. Comparison operators are used to compare values and result in either true or false. These should all be pretty familiar to you as well, though you should note that to compare two values, we use two equal signs. If you try to compare values and use a single equal sign, the program will throw an error or you will introduce a bug into your program, so pay careful attention to this. Logical operators are probably the ones that are most new to you. We use logical operators to check multiple conditions at once and return true or false. Let's break these down a bit. As a note, we normally would be using these operators to compare numbers to variables that hold changing values. To get a basic grasp of these operators here though, we'll just be comparing numbers to numbers. For the AND operator to evaluate to true, both conditions must evaluate to true. In this case, 5 is greater than 3, and 4 is greater than 5. The first comparison, 5 is greater than 3, evaluates to true. The second comparison, 4 is greater than 5, evaluates to false. So the combined condition evaluates to false. For the OR operator to evaluate to true, one of the conditions must evaluate to true. 5 is greater than 3, or 4 is greater than 5. The first comparison, 5 is greater than 3, evaluates to true. The second comparison, 4 is greater than 5, evaluates to false. So the combined condition evaluates to true since one of the conditions is true. As a note, if you're looking for how to type the OR symbol, it is found on the same key as the backslash, above the enter or return key. For the NOT operator to evaluate to true, the given condition must be false. Our condition 4 is less than 3 is false. So NOT false will evaluate to true. To use these operators inside our Arduino programs, just write the entire condition inside the parentheses. In this case, we're using a variable called pot value that is set to the value of the potentiometer to determine if an LED should blink. Using the AND operator, our LED should only blink when the potentiometer reads a value between 500 and 700. And we can see that when we run this program, that's exactly what happens. But if we instead use an OR operator inside our condition, the LED will blink any time the potentiometer reads a value greater than 500, or any time the value is below 700. This means the LED will blink for any and all potentiometer values. As we can see when this program is run, the value of the potentiometer has no effect on the blinking LED. During your next exploration, you'll be using a new sensor. An ultrasonic rangefinder is a sensor that measures distance using sound waves. There are different types of ultrasonic rangefinders, but in this course, we'll be using the HCSR04. There are four connection pins on the sensor that must be plugged correctly into your circuit. Looking at the front of the sensor, the VCC pin is on the left. This pin will be connected to the 5V pin on your Arduino. To the right of that pin is the trig pin, which will be plugged into an analog pin on your Arduino board, or one of the pins with a tilde next to the number. The next pin to the right is the echo pin, which is connected to another analog pin on the board, and the final pin on the far right of the sensor is labeled GND and will be connected to the ground pin on your Arduino. In this lesson, we learned about three different categories of operators. Now it's your turn to give these a try in your own Arduino programs.